Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and welcome to a video featuring Gina K Designs. I was lucky enough to get to do some guest work for her for the month of October. I know it's November. This was from the October release. This is called Peaceful Christmas. It actually just came back in stock, so I figured it was a perfect time to post this video. Um, in my initial card, I had watercolored all of the trees. I'd stamped them out in a no-line technique and just traced them all. And that was a little tedious, and I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, so I thought I would give you guys a card almost identical. Um, done in a little bit more simple of a way. So I covered my piece of watercolor paper on cornstarch, and now I'm going to stamp out the trees here using my Versa marking. I was just checking to make sure it was still sticky. I haven't, I wasn't positive. <laughs> the lid on it's broken, so. So I stamped that out, and then I'm going to cover it in some Hero Arts embossing powder. Just white. Kept it nice and simple. So we'll pour that on and shake it off and you know, standard embossing things. I pull out my heat tool. I make sure my heat tool gets nice and hot before I ever bring it to the paper. And then we slowly start to heat it up. And as soon as it starts to turn shiny, we know that section's done and to keep moving. You definitely don't want to stay in one place too long. You don't want to overcook and burn this stuff. Get it melted, make it shiny, move on to the next area. It happens relatively fast. My video is sped up to two times the original speed, so... I then taped it down to a board and I pulled out my Jane Davenport watercolors. I did, I have a video coming sharing all of my watercolor collection and I'm really trying to use them more. Like I, instead of just using the one palette that I use all the time, trying to use lots of them and kind of go through my collection of paints and make use of all of them instead of just hoarding them because I have a bad habit of buying watercolors and hoarding them forever. So we're going to wet our entire piece of paper here using a flat brush in clean, clear water. Once that's nice and wet, we come in and start with our watercoloring. So I'm sopping some up. I must add too much water on there. So I'm going to start off with the yellow and I'm just going to take a little bit of the pigment and drop it onto the tree. So I'm going in um, rainbow order. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet, indigo. You can see how I'm kind of skipping the in-between colors just to start. And I'm just going and putting the color on the center of the tree. And then we'll start to blend it out after that just to get the color there. Here I didn't have an orange in this palette, so I just mixed one out of the red that I used as well as the... Add some indigo there at the end, and then we'll take our brush with clean, clear water and start blending that out. This gives us much the same look as the original card I did, if you guys happen to see that one, um, where I traced all the little branches of the stems with rainbow colors. It's way faster. It gives you some nice texture because you get the colors blending. I blended them outside of the embossed image, as you can see here. I just thought it was really fun and pretty. It was much the same look, a lot less work, and I thought you guys might enjoy being able to see it, uh, see the rainbow trees done slightly different. I was super excited that this set came with seven trees, and I'm like, I know it's Christmas, but seven trees just screams rainbow to me, and I can't help it. So I just slowly play with the colors and keep blending them out. My paper is nice and wet so they don't dry uh, super fast or anything like that. So I don't have a problem moving them. You can see on some of them there, I'm just picking some of the color up. My head's in the way. I apologize for that. It's always in the way. I always apologize for that. Um, so I just pick up some of the excess color because I don't want it to kind of overpower the embossing. I want you to be able to see that those trees are embossed and behind it. But I definitely want you to be able to see each individual color. Blending out our indigo. Um, these colors flowed super nice on the paper. I haven't played with these in a long time. I know they are a lesser expensive set. You can tell that mine's the older version. The new version has like a silicone or plastic insert that the colors sit in. And I, I much prefer this more traditional style of palette. So I am happy I have the older version of these paints. I know the newer version is packaged, like I said, slightly different. Um, now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of grounding to it there. So I started with um, some yellow and now I'm going to do some blue and we're going to blend all that out. Kind of make a little messy grounding for it. What else is left here, guys? I think I come back, yeah, and add a little bit of yellow into the middle tree there just so that I can make it look more yellow and have some more separation there. I found the orange and the green were almost blending together and I didn't have um, what looked like a section I wanted. So now once that's done, I let the colors dry up quite a bit and then I'm going to take my rag here and I'm just going to dab off on the embossing to make sure that you can see all of those trees. Clean up the bottom of them just a little bit there. Now I grab, this is my um, Indenthrone Blue 
luminance colored pencil and I'm just going to add some shading to the right side of the trunks of all of the trees. I just found that that helped separate it from the background a little bit more than it was doing on its own with the embossing straight on top of the watercolor. The nice thing is the edge of the embossing gives you a real easy place to trace against with your pencil. You don't have to make it up or kind of follow the line. The pencil just sits in right against that embossing powder and you just trace it down. Super nice and simple. A little bit more on the bottom and then we'll pull it off of our board here and add our sentiment. So again, I pulled the sentiment out of the same set as before. Um, I can't remember it offhand, but I will have it linked down below. So this was off of the same set that I used the sentiment before about blooming where you're planted or something of those natures. I can't remember off the top of my head here. And I've, oh no, I have the water, I have the stamp set right beside me. So um, the first one was, um, wherever life plants you bloom with grace. You could use that one again, but I did use the find the blessings in everything. And this stamp set is uh, the, pe the Majestic Peony stamp set for the sentiment. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'll see you very soon for another one. <laughs> Bye for now.